a lot of videos lately. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Another unboxing out of Cali, California. Lucky scent. I didn't know these, uh, no big deal. Um, but they're more available than I thought they were. I don't know. I, I, I'm learning Desir, brand new. So this is only my second bottle from them. <clears throat> learning about them. And then, um, sweet. Checking out my Sam's I got. Oh, corn nuts. All right. So I love the wooden boxes that these come in. Oops. So check that out. Nice wooden, clean presentation. Deezer. Um, I wish that he would differentiate the perfumes. This, uh, the, the color is beautiful, but I wish even a, just a white etching in there of the name would, would be beautiful or, or a special cap for each one. Check that out. Presentation of the juice. I love the square bottles. A lot of people use them. I think they're a perfect perfume bottle. Cubes are so dynamic in my head. Let's, are we ready? Scent of the day also, D. Sirs Kageori, two there. You know, my first sprays. The hair. Man. So D. Sir, let's talk about D. Sir just one second. I tried them right when I got into perfumery because they're all natural. They were expensive. They are on Lucky Scent. That was my mindset when I started. Got them, wore them. Let's see if I have the little samples here. Yeah, it should be in the box here. So here we go. Let me rip these open. I actually would like to cover one of these on, on skin. But anyways, these are dabbers. I would get them. And, uh, you know, just dab them on. And I was like, what is this? Like, this is not a rige. This is not this and that. I got lost in, in what the perfume was. Fast forward a year. I wouldn't even touch the Chiara review, Desir's Chiara. I review it. And I mean, I spent a lot of time on that because Chiara this is the reason. Not just because of Desir, because Chiara, I was... Just so infatuated with oud and learn everything about oud. Kiara is a note. I'm bad. This is really good perfume, but I'll get to the point of that in a second. And then there's so many subtleties in the Kiara perfume. You can't wear these sort of perfumes with nothing else. I'm talking shampoo product. I'm talking anything that has synthetics in it. It'll just lift it and ruin it in the way it is. It is intimate, personal wardrobe perfume for you, for your experience, for your day to enhance your life. Day changer, mood changer, uplifting, that's what it is. Now, Keeman, my first bottle, start wearing that, and I'm trying to pick for the olfaction awards and whatnot, and just, it's so nuanced. So just like this, as I can tell, I'm already like my brain's already going like a hundred different places to tell you guys notes. So much goodness. So very good blending. This is really, really good natural perfume. Subtle. You wear it with something else, you're going to miss out. If you're used to big, bombastic, synthetic bombs, even the vintage stuff I have. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Took me a while to get used to this. This is advanced perfume to get the subtlety of what he put into it and why it cost what it costs. Value is all there. <laughs> the agar wood in here is exceptional. I know there's agar wood. No, there's I'm pretty sure there's oud. I don't think it's just white, white wood. Citrus, he can play with citruses like nobody's business. It's a little more powerful than the Yuzu and Kimon, but plays just perfectly. The woods are just watery, wet. 
I mean, it's just like going into a tranquility, Japanese gardens, tea time, resting the mind, calming the mind, always being at peace, always being focused with yourself. It, it's just a mindset perfume that it is. Uh, th this my second bottle right here. So this this plays right into it. This is Kuragami citrusy. Agarwood is beautiful. I don't have notes. This is, will get a full review. Thank goodness. It, it looks like it's constantly available. So it'll be a while. I'll get very used to it and whatnot. And that's how proper review should be. So I don't have to just all the other stuff I have to rush for because it's, it's sold out. And I'm trying to get info for everyone as fast as possible. But this one I'll sit on for a while. It's like a piece of Kimon. It's, it's like you buy a suit for this day and a suit for that day. That's that's what this feels like with Kimon. It's like it's just because you don't want to run out of the perfume. You want a couple to wear. It's like putting on another outfit, but it's Deser. It's got that citrus. It's got that whole agarwood. It's got the woods. Green, very green, very wet. Really good perfume. I love this thing. I know I, I the other one was frankincense and whatnot, and I just have too many of those. So I didn't go for that one. I'll try to get up notes. It's just very green, wet, grassy, pure, like a fountain, fountain of greenness, sharp. I want to say uh, patchouli's, patchouli, fresh patchouli. The citrus, it's kind of like kimon, but not that close. Very just bright green. Green just keeps like my mind is just this neon green in my head right now. Whenever it, when it keeps smelling it. So think of notes that like that way. I said grass, so vetiver, I guess. And soft wood. Soft, I wouldn't say sandalwood, soft, bright wood. Just for fun, we're gonna do this one. I, I did a lot of sprays there, but we'll just smell it. La Via Del Perfumos Tabac. Let's just put a little dab on the thumb. I like to do it in between my thumb and finger right there. I like seven of these things. I mean, yes, you already know I'm annoyed at doing this. Beautiful tobacco, upfront tobacco, dry cocoa, dusty. I mean, D. Sir still on the show on this with with just his brilliant red carpet openings that that he does. This is really good perfume too, though. I don't want to mix anymore. So um, I have Milano Cafe. We'll do that another day. Did I say that right? D. Sir, D. Sir, Kagaori. <sighs> Love you guys. Be blessed.